you guys thanks for stopping by my video today I will be discussing how to very easily solve allegation problems so um, in my point of view allegation problems or allegation calculations are one of the very most easy um, calculations that you can get that you can't miss as long as you um, follow the exact same steps that I'll be discussing with you guys today if you follow these steps I guarantee you you will never get any allegation problem ever wrong um, in the exam or uh, while you're practicing so let's start off by an example so um, the questions that I'll be showing you guys today are questions that I got from the 120 questions from the SDN uh, forums or the student doctor network forums it's a PDF file that you can download for free um, it was put by one of the professors from uh, pharmacy school and um, you can find these um, on the link that I will share in the description so let's start by the first problem here you receive an order of 30 grams of 0.1% of uh, hydrocortisone cream for use on an infant. You have available 1% hydrocortisone cream and cold cream that can be mixed with the hydrocortisone. How many grams of the cold cream will be needed to fill the order? So first, first things first here. You want to start off by seeing what you need to prepare. So what you need to prepare in the order is a 30 gram of the 0.1% hydrocortisone cream. So what you care about, what's the active ingredient here? It's the hydrocortisone. And you need to prepare 0.1% of that hydrocortisone cream. So what you do, the very first step you do here is you write the percentage of the cream that you want to prepare. And in that case, it's the 0.1%. So that is the percent of the cream that you want to uh, prepare. Now, what is the active ingredient? As we said, it's the hydrocortisone. And the idea behind allegation is that you always want to prepare a certain percentage of an active ingredient or of a compound from two other compounds that you already have that um, have different percentage of that active ingredient in the compound. So in this case, you want to prepare a 0.1% of the hydrocortisone cream, but unfortunately you don't have that percent. You have the same active ingredient, but in different percent, that is the 1%. And um, in this case, in this particular case, in that problem, the two compounds that you're going to be preparing um, your uh, required preparation here are one that has hydrocortisone in a percentage of 1%, and another that actually does not have the active ingredient in it, which is the cold cream. So don't let this fool you. You have uh, two compounds here. You have a compound that has the active ingredients in a 1% concentration, and you have another compound that does not have the active ingredient at all. So what does that mean? That means that the cold cream has a 0% of the hydrocortisone and yet you'll be using that compound. And so these are your two compounds that you'll be preparing. And uh, you'll be preparing the 0.1% 1, 1 from, excuse me. So what you started uh, with is the compound you're gonna be preparing, 0.1% is the concentration. And then since you're gonna be using two compounds, which is always the case in allegation, you wanna draw two lines and always put the higher concentration up and put the lower concentration down. In this case, the higher concentration is the 1% hydrocortisone. So that's the 1% hydrocortisone. And the lower concentration in this case is the cold cream, which is actually 0%. So you're gonna write 0% down. So one is bigger than zero. So you want you write the one up, the 1% up, and you wanna write the 0% down. Okay. Now, what is next? Now, you're going to draw another two lines here. And now, you're going to be moving in this direction. So, you're going to be moving in this direction. And you're going to subtract the 1 from the 0 0.1. And this will give you 0 0.9. And what? be very careful. What is the units here? The units here will be parts. Always make sure in any math calculation not to skip on the units because if you do that, if you think that you will keep it in your head and you're, you're not going to write it, you will make a mistake. 
believe me, you will make a mistake. Always write units. So here the unit is a percentage, here the unit is parts. Always remember to write the units. Okay, so um, these are 0 0.9 parts of the cold cream. So now you, when, when you subtract, you move in that direction and you move in that direction. So 0 minus 0 0.1 is 0 0.1 parts. And in allegation, you do not write the negative sign. So yes, 0 minus 0 0.1 is negative 0 0.1, but in allegation, you do not write the negative sign. You only write the number. So you have 0 0.1 parts and 0 0.9 parts. Now the question is, what does this mean? It means that in order to prepare the 0.1% of the hydrocortisone, you will need 0 0.1 parts of what you will actually be moving in this direction. So you will need 0.1% of the 1% hydrocortisone. And you will need 0.9% of parts of the 0% hydrocortisone, which is the cold cream. So remember, this is the cold cream. And this is the 1% hydrocortisone. So always remember that. You subtract in diagonal directions, but the parts are vertical. So 0.1 parts of the 1%, 0 0.9 parts of the 0 .9, uh, 0%. Now, the next step for you to do is to add these parts. So you're going to add 0 0.1, add that to the 0 0.9, which give you one part. Now, what does the one part represent? The one part represents the 0.1% of the hydrocortisone cream that you want to prepare. So what does this mean? This means that in order for you to prepare the 0.1% of the hydrocortisone that is required, you need to add 0.1 parts of the 1% hydrocortisone to the 0.9 parts of the 0% hydrocortisone, which is the cold cream, and you will get one part of the 0.1% of the hydrocortisone, which is required from the order here. Okay, so let's see what actually is the question here. What do they want you to find out here? They actually want you to find out how many grams of the cold cream will be needed to fill the order. Very important to read the requirement. Here, they do not require the grams of the hydrocortisone, which has the active ingredient, actually. No, they are asking for the grams of the cold cream, which is a filler, essentially, in this cream. So how do you get that? Now, you know that the order was required for 30 grams of the 0.1% hydrocortisone. And as we mentioned earlier, that in order to get that we use the parts here. So we know that one part uh, of the 0.1% hydrocortisone that is required is equivalent to the 30 grams that you're going to be preparing, which makes sense. So now that you know that one part is equivalent to the 30 gram, now you will need to do a very simple math equation. So the cold cream, which is 0.9 parts that you added, what would that be equivalent to? All right, and here, like I mentioned earlier, always make sure to write the units. They are asking for grams. Sometimes they might trick you and ask you for milligrams and then you will need to do uh, um, the um, conversions to, into milligrams. But actually here, all the question is in grams, so no tricks here, but always write down the units. So what you're gonna do here to um, know the amount of grams needed uh, to be added from the uh, cold cream, you will do a very simple crisscross equation. So how many grams are needed will be 0 0.9 parts of the cold cream times the 30 gram, which is the amount you'll be, uh, you'll be, um, compounding over the one part. So it's a quiz crisscross equation. So 0 0.9 times 30 divided by one. And that, if you do the math, will give you, let's 
calculate that. So 0 0.9 times 30 divided by 1, that will give you 27. And don't forget to write the units, 27 grams of what? Of the cold cream. All right, so um, that is the first question. And um, let's move on to another question for allegation. Okay, so here's another uh, problem for allegation. You told your assistant to make a 3% morphine solution, but something got misunderstood. And the result is 80 ml of 20% solution. How much water must you add to the 80 ml to reduce the concentration to 3%? Okay, so don't let the wording here fool you. Like I said earlier in the previous example, the first thing you want to do here is you want to know what is the uh, required compound that you want to prepare. So here, the requirement for the product that you want to prepare is a 3% morphine solution. So you have the requirement, you're going to write it first things first. So it's a 3% and the active ingredient here is the morphine solution. So what happened here? Your assistant was supposed to prepare a 3% of the morphine solution, but uh, instead of doing that, they actually prepared a 20% of the solution. So that is a higher percentage of the solution that, uh, than the 3% that you wanted to prepare. So this is gonna be one of the two compounds you're gonna be using to do the allegation. Now let's see what else you're gonna be putting. What other compound uh, of these two compounds you're gonna be putting. So actually, you wanna dilute it. You wanna add water to the 20% um, and to the 80 ml to uh, reduce the concentration to 3%. Now, this can be solved by allegation by um, thinking that the two compounds will be, number one, the 20% of the morphine, and uh, number two will be the water. And here, there, it's gonna be the same idea. So, uh, like I mentioned in the last example, you wanna put the higher percentage up, and in that case, it will be the 20% of the uh, morphine solution that was mistakenly prepared. And then you wanna add the water, and in this case, the water has 0% of the morphine solution. And now that you have uh, this side um, ready, you can go ahead and uh, start calculating the parts. So you're going to be calculating the parts to so 20 minus 3 that will give you 17 parts and Remember the 17 parts will be of the water and Then 0 minus 3 will be 3 and remember you do not put any negative signs in allegation so it will be 3 parts and 3 parts will be of the 20% um, morphine solution so you essentially need 17 parts of water to three parts of the 20% uh, morphine solution to prepare 20 parts of the 3% solution, which is the required. All right, so let's take a look here and see what is required here. You want to know how much water you need to add to the 80 mLs of the 20% to reduce the concentration to 3%. So you already have it given that you have an 80 ml of the 20%. So here you know that the three parts will be equivalent to 80 ml of the 20%. And you wanna know how much water you need to add. So this is the given. This is the, the requirement, I mean. Okay, so the requirement with this very simple crisscross equation here. So it will be 17 parts of the water times the 80 ml of the 20% of the morphine divided by the three parts of the 20% of the morphine. And by doing the calculations, 17 times 80 divided by 3, that will give you 
0.33 ml. Now, in this particular question, they are not specifying um, how much uh, decimal places they require of water. They're not specifying um, to what uh, decimal place. So they usually say to, uh, to the nearest tenth or to, to the nearest um, um, hundredth. In this specific uh, question, they are not specifying that. But usually in the exam, they do tell you um, how to round. So they might tell you round to the nearest number, uh, to the nearest tenth. Just make sure that you uh, round to what the question is essentially asking from you. All right, so this was a second example of allegation, and then we're gonna be moving to the third, uh, the more complicated idea for allegation, and um, it will be the last example we'll be um, explaining for allegation.